good stuff for the tournament this weekend. Um, I mean, everybody did well. Uh, definitely some stuff that we could we could fix, but overall, um, pretty pleased with what I saw. We made some corrections on a lot of stuff that uh, certain folks have been struggling with. Um, we're going to spend this week correcting pretty much the same thing I see at every tournament from anybody that's competed. Um, so we're going to work on uh, passing half guard. Um, but uh, definitely some improvement there, but uh, multiple guys we had Saturday uh, struggling in that position just a little bit. So we're going to talk a little bit about that tonight, and then we're going to work just on uh, one pass to start, and then uh, probably build on that each day this week. Um, from there, um, we're going to start uh, probably the, the standard bread and butter half guard pass. We'll do that tonight. But I am going to talk a little bit about why I'm always yelling at you guys when we're, when we're competing, why we're not just going for out. Um, and we're going to show that. Uh, let me borrow Jake and Dan here. Just draw right here. Okay. So I'm going to end up going for, for Mount here. This is why. Um, so he's got me in half guard. I don't care how he's doing it. Um, what I'm seeing a lot in these tournaments and what's uh, causing you guys to lose position is, is we're trying to come up through here and just step across. Okay. Anybody see what's wrong with this picture? New, newer person, tell me. Trap leg. Trap arm. There's trap definitely leg. the trap leg, right? Trap but what do I not have control of? Anything I have no underhooks, that is correct. This is why this is garbage and we're wasting our time, okay? Because if he's any good at all, he's immediately gonna turn this, these knees and hip escape. So he's gonna do his elbow escape here. Uh, nope. Why are you so conscious now? Just turn. Pop the knee up. That's what happens, okay? You're never gonna get mount on anybody good by doing that. So, if we're gonna get mount, what has to happen if I'm gonna get this knee across is I need underhooks here. At the very least, this one. Okay, I can have control of his head. I can have doubles, okay? But we're gonna have control of his head. He's framing, and I'm gonna go up under here. Now I'm not worried about him getting his guard back. Right, try to turn your knee. Okay, I can control, and I'm setting him up for a possible submission. So this is much easier for me to get mount versus me coming through like this, it's just not going to happen as people get better. It's just not going to happen. If we're getting away with it, it's because they, they're basically making a mistake. Okay? What I want to focus on, first and foremost, when we get in this spot, puts me a half guard. Okay? Number one, I want this off of my hip. So I want to be able to, to close distance on it. If he has this, he can kind of keep distance. He can arch his back away from me. All right, so I can't really get to him. Okay. Next thing is control this arm. So first and foremost, I'm going to pin this arm. All right. If he's in tighter on me, that's fine. I'm going to work on getting my arm on his hip, popping the knee up. Okay. If he's playing a higher shield, we can work on that too. We'll talk about other ways to mess with that this week. Okay. So he's just got his foot in here. I don't care how he's playing it. Try to get this to here. And then immediately, I'm going to work on getting my knee to his hip. Okay, so once my hand's in here, I'm trying to keep him from getting that shield back. The knee goes to his hip, and I go right to his head. Okay? I need to club his head, get to his armpit, and get shoulder pressure. Okay? The next thing is... Turn. I don't want to leave my foot out here because what happens? Take it in. No, you're gonna get. You're gonna get. You're gonna put me in a lockdown, right? I don't do that. But yeah. I thought okay. we weren't allowed to. Here. You're not. But um, Mills uh, was in lockdown for almost the whole match. Okay. So what I need to do when I get this position is get my knee through this hole and get my foot to his butt. Okay. So if he's trying to get locked down now, not gonna happen, okay? Protects my knee and also allows me to finish off his, this pass here that I want, okay? If I keep allowing 
my leg to be down here. He's gonna manipulate my weight, right? Move me around, create space, get his underhooks, and get me back into a guard, okay? He's going nowhere when I have my knee in his hip and my foot to his butt, okay? From here, I wanna get control of this top side knee. Once my knee's through this hole, I don't care how hard he holds it here, I'm eventually gonna get out, okay? As he tries to sweep me, he's gonna have to unlock his legs. So if he tries to get anything to like move my body, it's a big back step for me to get out. Me, right in his hip. Heavy. Make him feel that shoulder. I'm grabbing his armpit with my middle finger, driving my shoulder into his face. Controlling the pant leg, okay? If he just will not give that up, I can hip escape, put my foot on his on the bottom of his thigh, and free my leg that way too. Notice I'm controlling this. So his explosion is minimized. He can't really bridge. He's got to open his legs up in order to do much anyway. Any questions on that? When you're doing the cross space, the shoulder pressure, yeah. are you putting that on his cheek or are you putting that on his throat? Right on his jaw. So the point of my shoulder right right on his jawline. Okay. I want to turn him the other direction. That's also going to minimize his ability to push put pressure into me. Okay? So he tries to turn into me. It's just kind of hard for him to get started. Okay? He can't really use his frame very well. All right? And from here, when he does really make a move, all right? I'm out. I can Move my weight into him and my knee to his hip and finish in side control. Now, question though, once you get side control, do you see more benefit in, in keeping your shoulder in his cheek or maintaining and doing something a little meaner? I'm eventually going to move on to be able to, to attack him. I want to I want to consolidate position first and then I'll worry about. At some point, I'm probably going to take some of the pressure off him. If I spend all my energy or my focus just crushing his face, I'm not attacking him. Okay. This can be this can happen from any position, right? If I'm just passing him from up top, right? I can put myself in that position to pass his guard. So we can use that if you're dealing with a guy that's got a good open guard. Um, maybe you don't have a lot of different tools right now to pass with. Maybe you don't know all your open guard passes. Maybe you know you only been training, you know, half a year or something like that. Um, you can really slow them down and you have a lot of options and we'll go over a couple of those options this week. Tonight we're going to focus on just this and maybe a couple options to free your leg. Okay. And this is before they have the full underhook on you? Yes. For what you're showing? Okay. So if he gets his underhook, right, I'm going to, he's going to start manipulating my weight right away. So I have to try to get that back. Yeah. Okay. Be mindful of where he's putting his, as soon as he pummels for the underhook, I'm pummeling. Okay. And I'm closing that space off so he can't get it back. I'm also being mindful to, to watch his hand because I don't want him going underneath my leg. Dive under. All right. And they can start to roll me, move my weight. Okay. And switch to different positions. So once I have him down, get that knee off of my hip if we can. Okay. My knee to his hip, I'm pinching his hips. From here, you go right to his face. He's gonna be tight with these legs. It's gonna allow me to get the pants. Right foot to his butt. It allows me to free the knee, okay? From here, keep the pressure on him. And I'm just gonna be patient. So I have to work this out. Drive into him. Finish in side control. My elbow on him, underneath his hip. Anybody need to see it on this side? We good? Good? Yep. All right. Uh, should have even, so just get with some partners and uh, we're just going to do